All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, question that got asked about the tag database or tag DB inside of VBA code um, in Frederick Talk Studio Site Edition. Now, this will be the example that I showed right here uh, to create tag or create folder, uh, create tag, create duplicate folder, modify tag properties, and uh, delete the folder. And that was all in the uh, understanding that it was going to the HMI tags and actually you know modifying the tag what's inside the tags adding to them and doing different things now keep in mind if i open up vpa code right so if i just open up vpa code for the screen you can see that some things are actually um, declared inside of it uh, meaning when it's being used like something like uh, a dim index dim tag o tag right here um, stuff like that's declared so um, I'm going to actually talk about that a little bit deeper so that it's uh, just in case you're new to VBA code or you're curious that's where uh, kind of where things were, were kind of a lie um, now keep in mind too the question was uh, the tag DB they did not have so what I'm going to do, do right here is actually go to anywhere inside of your VBA code uh, just right click you can go to list properties and methods and this is going to show every single thing that is, is either a inside of your VBA code that you have declared as a variable or at anything that is inside of your screen that you could use the HMI screen that you are actually editing uh, for that VBA code right you could have multiple screens open but I recommend to keep things simple that you have one screen open and one VBA, VBA so that you can keep things uh, as simple and as streamlined as possible but just keep in mind that some all the things in this drop down list right here are either a part of your VBA code you declared them or part of the screen or part of the library that is in part, you know installed inside of your computer uh, which is Microsoft or it could be uh, factory talk something that has been added so everything in this list down here you can see uh, we're going to go down to uh, tag database so uh, you can see right here tag database um, now the question was why they didn't have the tag DB uh, which in tag DB there's a multiple things you can do right here uh, just keep in mind like create a folder you can do that right here you can see um, now keep in mind the question was why don't they have that there's a couple things you need to look at one would be tools right you go to tools and references and in tools and references generally speaking out of all the factory talk uh, systems I've used these are by default um, this first four which is uh, visual basics for application uh, visual or uh, RS view uh, display client uh, object module right here and if you notice uh, each one of these has a location where they're at right so you can actually go into your computer and find out the date and when it was made to make sure it's current or even replace it uh, right so you can actually upgrade it if you want to um, now you would have to go get the other library to actually replace that but just keep in mind you can't do that um, now when it comes down to it there's the OLE automation and then there's the RS view display client object module right and you can see the location again for that so let's get let's get to the uh, actual question that got asked which which was uh, the tag database um, and this is again uh, referring to the screen that I did and I made the video on so I actually went back and looked at several different versions. Uh, Factory Talk 12 did have the actual ability to do this. Uh, I don't have Factory Talk 11, but I do believe it's in, installed in that. Although I do have Factory Talk 10. So what I did is I come over here, I'm gonna go home and open up Factory Talk 10, look at the exact same thing. I just pulled open a random screen that I had VBA code already added to it. Um, and then I come over here and I look at my tools and I look at my references and I just verify the same things are in play here right now um, if I look at each one of these right and I look at locations and I, I can check these uncheck these and stuff like that if I look at the locations I can see uh, different things that are in play right so I can look at different the, the different modules and stuff like that again you have the file location down here below but the exact same four things are actually listed now when I come down here and look if I right click right here and I go to list properties and methods when I go down here uh, again keep in mind um, this could be all everything that's inside of your VBA code or it could be anything that uh, is inside your HMI it could be um, anything that's in your libraries so Microsoft libraries 
um, anything that's uh, part of Factory Talk or something like that. So um, I do believe this is, was in the version of Factory Talk that I did uh, have at the time. So let's go down to uh, where the tag database would be. Um, with that said right here, <clears throat> you can see tag, da uh, tag data right here, but you don't see tag DB, right? And you don't see tag DB because it's not in there, right? So it's not it's not added. So the thing you can do is you can go tag parameters, uh, and you can add tag parameters, and you can get like the count, the item. There's a couple different things you can do. You can do very 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 subtle things. Uh, this and tag parameters is more or less not not associated with uh, the tag HMI tags like the HMI tags in your HMI system. They're not associated with that. They're more associated with uh, looking at like the tag parameter passing uh, stuff of that nature, like how many parameters are being passed in your screen. So you can always uh, go in here and say me dot whatever, uh, and look at right here. You can look at it should be tag parameters, and then you can go something like uh, count and find out how many how many tags are being you know passed through the system, and then you can say equal to whatever. Um, just showing you a couple different things and to understand why you would not have it uh, Now if you are in the position where you do feel like you need it um, You do probably need to upgrade your factory talk system um, Going in and, and actually changing your versions of uh, references um, If you do find a place where you can actually you know get these references uh, Maybe you can download them from Rockwell. I have not seen that yet um, Again, that's somewhere of this is part of the software package so I do recommend you actually go through that. Now, there's a ton of stuff in here that you can use, but just keep in mind, some of the Microsoft stuff that get that you just go to their website and get might not properly align with a factory talk because they may have edited it, right? So this is why I say that it comes with the software package. It comes with that. If you do look for that feature and you don't have it, unfortunately, you will have to go to a different version of factory talk. Um, at least from my viewpoint right now, I have investigated this from this question to see if I could help. Now, again, that goes down to my, if I go to my tabs and I go to 13, I do have this in Factory Talk 13. I do have it in Factory Talk 12. I did actually check that. So it is in Factory Talk 12 and it is in Factory Talk 13. Um, and I do believe, I don't have Factory Talk 11, but I do believe it is in Factory Talk 11 as well. So anything below that will not have that av uh, availability to do that. So just keep in mind, and I want to answer that question. I know for a lot of you guys, uh, VBA code is very daunting. It's something that you, you know, obviously you want to, maybe you're trying to add code, you're editing code, and sometimes things aren't working. And you're wondering why aren't they working? Well, sometimes it's because of the version that you're running, right? Sometimes it's because of the version. Sometimes it's because of things that are added. Maybe there's a module that's added, something an import. Um, like for instance, I, I can come over here right now and uh, basically import something, right? I can import a file. And if I go to temporary, if I go to my desktop right here, I have something I can actually import in here. I can import this and there's now a new module in here. <clears throat> now this is for a play wave. Uh, so that's somewhat completely different, but that's for like a play wave and showing you know something that uh, like if I want to play continuous like play a sound continuously or if I want to play it one time I could play it one time um, that is completely different and again that goes down to uh, your modules you'll generally see that if it's been added um, if it's nothing to do with your references the references of that did not change just keep that in mind I just did want to show the deep the difference between adding a module and having an available reference the available references, again, most, again, in my opinion, are going to be with your software versions and think when things get added and upgraded. So it could be Factory Talk, um, the suite, software suite. It could be Microsoft, right? So it could be your OS. Um, most likely, especially with these four that have been incurred right here, um, they're going to be with the software suite of Factory Talk. So keep that in mind and your um, the way you've installed that. So just make sure that if you do need that feature for some reason that you upgrade your system. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, there is nothing that I could share to upgrade that or anything that you can share from the internet. So I would kind of not waste your time on something like that because even if you did, 
uh, find that that one file and you replaced it and you were successful you could break something else so just keep in mind you know when you're doing stuff like that you know it's better just to upgrade your system because that software suite was developed to work with everything else that is incurred with that software so with all that said hopefully that passed on a good bit of information for you I know this was more of a talk than it is actually using VBA code but there was a question asked and I wanted to take a valiant effort to answer that question uh, because when it comes down to it sometimes when I've had questions in the past and I can't find an answer it is very frustrating um, sometimes um, you just need that answer whether you can or you can't and sometimes you need clarity on what to do moving forward and that's what I'm trying to do here is answer that person's question and also help them move forward in what to do in the future so hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one